While GTA Online has had plenty of updates across the last seven years, there's actually a handful of features that Rockstar has permanently removed from the game. Some of this content made sense to take out, but believe it or not, we'd really wish they'd bring a lot of these features back. So on today's episode of The Countdown, we're going to be covering 10 things that Rockstar removed from GTA Online. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to Arcade Cloud News right here on YouTube for all the best news and lists in gaming. Now let's get into it. Number 10. Bambushka Bay The RM10 Bambushka is one of the most controversial vehicles in all of GTA Online because of one big feature, the cargo bay. The massive plane allows you to open a rear door that gives you access to its cargo bay, or at least it used to. That's right, you used to be able to pile up an entire crew in the Babushka's cargo bay. And more importantly, you used to be able to use the bay to transport vehicles across the map. For whatever reason though, Rockstar patched the vehicle so that the cargo bay still opens up, but it's no longer accessible if you upgraded it at all. So the only way to use the cargo bay is by not adding any upgrades to the Bambushka. Ridiculous, right? The reason why the Bambushka is so controversial is because it costs you a whopping $5,918,500. And many players spent that money with the promise that they'd have a usable cargo bay. Why is the bay no longer accessible after buying upgrades? We're not really sure, but at the very least, Rockstar should be offering refunds to those who purchased a bambushka before the change. Number 9. Distract Cops GTA Online's current free mode events aren't the greatest. Drive backwards for the longest amount of time? Fall from the farthest height and survive? Fly under the most bridges? I mean, come on, most players don't even bother participating in these events anymore, especially because several of the game's old free mode events were significantly better. One of those included Distract Cops events, which occurred when Lester would ask you to distract the police while one of his other crews pulled off a heist. You simply had to stay alive while the cops attacked you for five straight minutes, earning more cash and reputation points based on how well you did. It was a lot of fun, and it's certainly better than many of the free mode events we have today. Number 8. Mechanic when you want to spawn one of your vehicles in GTA Online, you simply have to call your mechanic and after a few moments, it will pop up nearby. Originally though, an actual mechanic NPC would deliver the cars themselves. Given how NPCs drive, the mechanic would oftentimes cause damage to your vehicle even before dropping it off. If the cops were nearby or if you were being shot at, he would even sometimes continue driving, leaving you completely stranded. While we may miss many of the features on this list, removing the mechanic NPC definitely made sense and we don't blame Rockstar at all. Number 7. Deleted Races GTA Online might offer some pretty epic races, but for some reason, many fan favorites have been permanently removed from the game. Unique races like Old Downtown, where players would race compact cars and motorbikes in a figure eight route around FIB headquarters and the Maze Bank Tower, are sorely missed. Other deleted races include Saddle Up, a four-player bicycle-only race around the Vinewood Racetrack, and Vinewood Tours, a race that basically used the entire outskirts of Vinewood as its route. This is basically just scratching the surface of classic races that we wish were still in the game. Maybe Rockstar only has enough room for so many of them? Either way, it's definitely disappointing when you find a favorite race in the game that you can constantly win at, only to have it be permanently deleted. Bring these back, Rockstar. Number 6. Gain Attacks Gain attacks were another great set of classic free mode events that are sorely missed within GTA Online. These events occurred when you would enter certain areas on the map, and a collection of gang members would begin to approach you. If you pulled out a weapon or confronted them, the gang attack would be triggered, at which point you'd need to take everyone out. If you cleared out the entire gang, you'd be in for a pretty solid payday and some solid new weapons to add to your arsenal. Again, we have no idea why Rockstar decided to remove this feature, but the gang attack served as a great callback for the turf wars in GTA San Andreas and we'd really like to see them back in GTA Online at some point in the future. Number 5. Money Trucks Originally, players would unlock the ability to rob armored trucks after reaching rank 19. Just like in story mode, these trucks could be opened up if you shoot at the back doors, and while playing GTA Online, they would drop anywhere from $2,000 to $10,000. The feature was a great way for lower level players to grind for some cash, and the trucks added a little something extra to do while driving across Los Santos. Players began exploiting the trucks though, modding the game so that a ton of money could be obtained. The trucks were also known to be buggy, occasionally not opening their doors or not dropping any money at all. As a response, Rockstar removed the feature in the free mode events update, but we really wish they would just fix the bugs and bring the trucks back. Number 4. Deleted Missions 
Just as several races have been removed from GTA Online, Rockstar has also removed a handful of missions as well. Classic missions like Dock to Stock 2, which had players stealing a large crate from Merriweather, or ATV Steal, where you need to take back four repossessed ATVs for Simeon, are no longer available in the game. Other missions like Pick Up Sticks, where you'd retrieve packages from Martin Madrazo, and A Boat in the Bay, where you'd steal an expensive boat for Ron Joukowsky, were removed as well. Some of these missions provided a great way to make some quick money, and others were fan favorites among many GTA players. Rockstar has brought back removed missions in the past, but there's really no reason why they should be removed in the first place. After all, how does less content help anyone? Number 3. Aircraft Takedown Aircraft Takedown is another collection of great free mode events, and they were the most profitable as well. Trevor himself would give you these missions, where you'd be tasked with taking down airplanes that were smuggling drugs for his competitors. Not only were these events a blast to play, but they would earn you up to as much as $30,000, making them an excellent source of income too. Hunting down enemy planes far above Los Santos provided some action-packed gameplay, and we really don't understand why Rockstar would decide to remove a feature like this. Just like the other events we've covered so far, Aircraft Takedown missions were far more entertaining than the current free mode events, and Rockstar would only be doing everyone a favor if they were to bring it back. Number 2. Share Money in the first few months of GTA Online's release, the game had a feature that was extremely useful for playing with friends, share money. That's right, you used to be able to send your friends a set amount of money with no strings attached. Of course, modders exploited this feature and used it to share millions and millions of dollars with other players. So instead of fixing share money and keeping it fair, Rockstar decided to remove the feature altogether. It's worth noting that there's still an option to share money that you've earned from your last job with teammates that helped you on the job, but that's about it. The share money feature used to be a great way for veteran players to help out their newcomer friends, but it's unlikely that we'll ever see it in the game again. Number 1. Crate Drops Crate drops are probably the feature that we miss the most from GTA Online. Every now and then, crates would drop from the sky, and if you obtained one of these crates, you would win some gear that couldn't be obtained anywhere else in the game. Crate drops were the source of many GTA Online's rarest clothing options, including the legendary beer hats. They also added a lot of fun to a GTA lobby, as players from all over the map would flock to these crates where only the last man standing would win. The crates were a great source of collectibles, and just like the other free mode events on our list, they are a hundred times more fun than the free mode events that rock Star currently offers. And that covers our list of 10 GTA Online features that have been removed from the game. What feature do you wish Rockstar would bring back? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Arcade Cloud News right here on YouTube for more of the best news and lists in gaming. As always, thanks for watching.